With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? A particle of mass m moving in a circle, circular path of radius r uh, at a constant speed of v2 is located at uh, point 0.2 r, 0 at t equal to 0. Now a man starts moving with the velocity v0 uh, along the positive y direction from the origin at t equals to 0. Now we need to calculate the linear momentum of the particle with respect to man as a function of time. Okay, so how can we do? So let us draw a circular path. Okay, now uh, this is our x axis. Let us say this is our x axis. Let us redraw this. So this is our uh, basically x axis and let us say this is our y axis. Okay. Now what is happening? So initially the particle is located here. So at two, uh, this uh, 2 r comma 0. 2 r comma 0 that means circumference of this circle. Okay. And this is our origin. Now the particle here, uh, the man here, it is moving with the velocity v0. So it is moving with the velocity v0 in the j direction. This is our y. That means our z. Now this is let us say x axis. Now the particle is started here to move with the velocity of uh, this uh, uh, v2. Okay. Let us uh, say that at some instant of time from the origin, uh, oh, sorry, from the center of this uh, of this circle, it is making an angle theta and the velocity would be tangential here. Okay. So this is our v2. So we can say that this is our v2. This is our angle theta. Okay. So if this angle is theta, if we draw a, a line here, so this angle would also be theta. This would be 90 minus theta and perpendicular to this, this would be our theta. So we can resolve our v2 into two components. One along this direction would be equals to v2 cos of theta and one along this direction, it would be equals to v2 sin of theta. Okay. So we can say that our velocity of particle would be equals to v2 sin theta in the minus i direction because it is in the negative x axis towards the negative x axis. So it would be minus i gap and this is along the y direction. So we can say that plus v2 cos of theta in the j cap direction. Now this uh, our uh, theta would be equals to in uh, uh, this circular motion theta would be equals to omega into t. Okay. And what we can write our omega angular velocity, it would be equals to v2 divided by r because v equals to r omega. So we can say that our theta would be equals to v2 divided by r into t. Now what about the velocity of man? We say that velocity of man in the vector form would be equals to it is towards the j direction. So it would be v naught j. We need to find the relative momentum. So first of all, we need to find the relative velocity. So what is the velocity of particle with respect to man? Relative velocity, it would be velocity of this would be velocity of particle. We just write velocity of particle minus velocity of man. Okay. Now what is the velocity of particle? So we say that it is minus v2. We just put the value. So it would be minus v2 sin theta i cap. So this is vp plus v2 cos theta. It would be j cap and then minus velocity of uh, this man. So minus v0. So what we can do, it, this would be also in the j cap. So we can take j cap to be the common. We can just write it like this. Okay. j cap. Now what would be the value of the momentum? So this is the uh, velocity. How do we write momentum of particle with respect to man? So in the vector form, it would be momentum is just mass multiplied by the velocity. So m times vpm. So it would be, we just uh, write it equals to m times what is uh, uh, the velocity minus v2 sine. Now what is the value of theta? We have already seen theta would be equals to, we just see it is v2 divided by r into t. So we can just put the value of theta. So it would be sine v2 divided by r into t i cap plus then v2 cos of theta. So cos of theta, we just take the bracket here. So theta is v2 divided by r times t minus v0. It, it, it is the j direction. Okay. So this is the total uh, momentum, uh, relative momentum. So hope you have understood this solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.